Good morning. It is July 14th, 7.30 in the morning, and it is a gorgeous day beginning here up in Beaver Creek. As always, we got a big weekend ahead full of events, including Xterra. As you can see, they're getting set up for that. We have so much more information. Bravo's happening, farmers markets. We're gonna have live interviews on some yoga and real estate. So got a pack show folks and it starts right now it's summer in the mountains it's summer in the mountains it's summer in the mountains and we're out here living it living it living it lots to do lots to see every morning every morning every morning at 7 30 7 30 it's vale valley live it's vale valley live Watch us now. Watch us now. Watch us now. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vail Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson here in our studios at the Grand Hyatt Vail. We just saw Meredith Kirkman standing by at the base of Beaver Creek on this Thursday morning. And wow, we've got a lot of things going on. I was just kind of going through my list of just what's happening musically tonight. And then of course, lots of activities throughout the weekend. We're partway through July, almost tomorrow being the 15th, midway through the month. Oh boy, we're just rolling through summer super quickly, a little too fast if you ask me. But thanks for joining us this morning. We're gonna be with you live until about 8.30, 7.30 to 8.30 is when you typically find us here on whether you're watching us on Facebook. We do have a brand new Facebook channel too. It's Vale Valley Live. We also have a new YouTube channel, Vale Valley Live as well. So hit subscribe, hit the like button, get the alerts. Maybe they'll come on your phone just so you know when we're going to be coming on and you can always um, chat with us if you have any questions about what's going on this weekend, later this summer. We had a question about, can you bring a dog up the gondola? So we like to be your concierge to the Vail Valley. So you can easily chat with us on either Facebook or YouTube during the live show. And then if you can't watch us early in the morning, you can always watch us any time of day just to keep up with what's going on right now because there is so much happening. So let's get to the weather first and then we'll roll into the activities of the day, of the evening, and of the weekend. So today we could see those chances of showers move in right around maybe this afternoon, 3 p.m., 3 to 5. We're calling for a higher percentage of scattered showers and thunderstorms, 50%, then 70% likely, so a little bit more than what we had yesterday. Overnight, we could see about a 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms into the wee hours. Our low will be down into the 50s, and then for Friday, we'll see a good chance of showers later in the morning and even in the afternoon. So, But then we start to dry out. For Saturday, we'll see things mostly in the afternoon and uh, by Sunday, we should dry out just a little bit. But yesterday, we were pretty fortunate. I, I saw a couple of those thunderheads. I was in Avon. We were down at Nottingham Park playing a little volleyball. We had uh, an office picnic going on. So that was super fun. So many people enjoying the great amenities of Avon and Nottingham Park. But I want to thank the Owlet at Silverthorne for this weather and mountain report. Keep in mind, our lifts open at 930, and that is over at Vail. We've got Lion's Head, Vale Village, as well as Gandhi, number six, well, it's a chairlift gondola combination, the Centennial Lift over at Beaver Creek. That opens for you at 930 as well. Ticket offices open at nine. But let's bring in Meredith because we got a lot to talk about today and I need some help with all the things <laughs> going on. Meredith, I know we were chatting before the show about a few things and then in between that little chat and now, so many more things. You know, we've got Vail Jazz tonight. We also have mm -hmm. Show Downtown happening in Eagle. And then Move and Groove is happening up at Beaver Creek, right where you are. And this is where you get a live band, but you also get some dance lessons. Have you ever been asked to teach these lessons? I know that <laughs> you're, you're quite the dancer, so they might be I maybe would be interested. I don't know if I have time for another job, but hey, <laughs> if it's dancing, it's tempting. <laughs> 
know, yeah, I, I think Maria Berry teaches some of those. Uh, but I mean, it's so fantastic. Who doesn't love a, a little dance lesson on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> I know, definitely. Just to add to, you know, that wedding dance routine. That, that, yes. You know, it's always good to have that as something fresh for the next wedding dance. I see a little cloud cover up above, kind of more than we normally have. Yeah. For the morning, I would say this is um, a little bit more rare. Normally, our days start nice and blue skies, and, and then we sometimes see those clouds rolling in the afternoon. But we definitely have some cloud coverage. But it's nice. It's it's cool start to the morning, which is always good in the peak of summer. It can feel really warm here. 80s can feel warm because we're close to that sun. So obviously it's so important any single day to wear your sunscreen and continue to hydrate because it's a unique elevation we're here. Oh, yeah. we're, we're at here. Yeah, I, I got a little burnt on the shoulders. Oh, we we did a little, we mm -hmm. did two volleyball games yesterday, and uh, mm -hmm. I just got a little burnt. Forgot to put the sunscreen on. So it's a good thing to just get in the habit of doing it early. Do it when you're at home. Bring it along with you. Apply yeah. it early. Apply it often. But uh, behind you, we can see they've got all the bike racks ready for Xterra. Big event coming mm -hmm. back to Avon and Beaver Creek. Oh yeah, it's so exciting. I mean, this is a, a huge competition and it's a qualifying for people that are going to go to Hawaii for the final championships. Well, and you know is that what? correct? Okay. I thought it was Hawaii and guess what? It's actually Italy. So it's going to be in Trentino, Italy, October 1st. Yeah, Maui's been the place for it for many, many years. And mm -hmm. in fact, this world championship has been over at Snow Basin, Utah for the last dozen years. And Beaver Creek was always a stop on the national circuit, but this time it's a championship stop. So there'll be 51 spots for qualifying athletes to go over to Italy for the Worlds. So that's pretty exciting. But they're gonna have the 1500 meter swim down at Nottingham Lake. And then the bike ride, the mountain bike ride will be going up from Avon, kind of tour through Arrowhead, drop down into Beaver Creek. That's gonna be about 24 kilometers. Yeah, and then that's where they'll put the bikes. And then they'll, they'll switch, they'll get the running shoes on. And then they're gonna be going for, I think it's about nine kilometers for the trail run. And then Meredith, there's also what they call the Xterra sprint distance, which is half the distance of, of the regular race. So if you haven't done this, you know, if you're just kind of getting into these triathlons, especially these off-road triathlons, it's a good way to start. Absolutely. And we're always so excited to watch Josiah and family. I actually passed him. I was at the at the lake too yesterday on a bit of a walk and I saw him doing some media coverage with his son. So, you know, we're all getting amped for the big day. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, Josiah has been such a, a big name in Xterra. And now, you know, moving on to the next generation with the, with his sons. Yeah. So that should be super cool. And then they're bringing everything down to Avon, and they're going to have the awards ceremony down mm -hmm. there. They're going to have some fun kids races happening, some relay races, yard games, a lot of vendors in the booths will be down there with some food and drinks, a beer garden, and then Trout Steak Revival is going to be there. And uh, their great bluegrass band opening up for them will be the proper way. So six o'clock for them, around eight or so for the headlining band. So just another full day of activities. So even if you're not participating, there's still ways to get involved. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of spectator, um, and you know, like they, the racers want people there, you know, there's, yeah. they feed off that energy. So it's a nice time to just go soak in these views. I mean, the, this race, the backdrop for this race is just gorgeous. So yeah. it's really exciting. And this is all taking place Beaver Creek and Avon this Saturday. And then also, Meredith, tonight or tomorrow night, Friday night and Saturday night, we've got chips some days. And this has been just oh, a yes. standing tradition with the parade, the classic car show, jalapeno eating contest, all these fun things that happen in this, you know, it's kind of a small town type of feel. But they bring in some big names. And tomorrow night, Marshall Tucker Band, 50 years running. These guys have been around since 1972. Doug Gray is still the band leader and the tambourine player. And uh, so they're going to be headlining tomorrow night. Yes, that's going to be so much fun. I feel like Gypsum Days really brings in big names. Yes. 
including that. So that's going to be really exciting. A lot of, a lot of country vibes for the yeah. country, so the small country town we got down down yep. in gypsum <laughs> yeah yep. we got we got the southern rock tomorrow night so this will be a lot of fun opening up for them is going to be the cadillac three and they're a trio mm -hmm. out of tennessee they started out they're they're good buddies they've been playing basements and, and garages forever and now they're playing big shows they were just on the bandwagon tour with miranda lambert little big town so that'll be the opener for marshall tucker brand tomorrow night and then on saturday night we've got michael ray and at first i was like like, who's Michael Ray? Well, then I started listening and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I know that song. Um, the Kiss You in the Morning is one of his songs. Uh, you know, he's just got a lot of great hits. He's been just climbing the charts for Billboard's country music. So, so that is going to be a great one. And then Nate Barnes is his op is the opener for that night. And Nate Barnes, mm -hmm. he's his life is a country song. I mean, he basically is like got into the workforce when he was like 13. He was scrubbing toilets and digging ditches and toiling away. And he got discovered actually in Nashville. He was on his way to a, a vacation in a Gatlinburg and he got discovered by a songwriter. And so it's that whole American dream of working hard and pouring your, he started singing in church in the sixth grade. So uh, such a cool story with Nate Barnes as well. So do a little research on these bands, listen to a few tunes. I know you're gonna love it. So you can get your tickets. They've got VIP tickets. They also have just individual concerts. If you wanna just go to Friday, but you can't go Saturday, either or you can you can, you can pay that way. Um, but it's really affordable too. It's, it's a great way to start it out. But then we also have Bravo. So if, I love it. You could just be in your total country duds, <laughs> Cowboy Boots and Hat one night, and then listening to Tchaikovsky the next night. I just love that about this time of year. Right. This valley is so dynamic, you know, whether it is dynamic in the sports or dynamic in the events and the music, there's a vibe for everyone. You just have to maybe drive a little bit, but it's all in the same county. And so, yes, we have another big weekend of Bravo coming up. And it's some of the last performances of the uh, Philadelphia Orchestra. And then we're going to move on to see the New York Philharmonic. It's going to be yeah. very exciting. Oh, yeah. Super exciting. And and you know what? This year, since we were able to bring back full orchestras, they're playing bigger pieces. They're playing mm -hmm. some of the works that we haven't heard before. And um, so we're going to have Natalie Zutzman. She will be conducting. And then we will have some special guests, you know, whether they're hopping in on violin, clarinet. So they're, they've got some great music for you both nights, Friday and Saturday night at the Ford Amphitheater. And then we take a little break from the big orchestras until next week when the New York Philharmonic comes. But bravo, oh wow, this is just such a fun thing to do. And I think, you know, the weather, rain or shine, these do happen. Sometimes it's good to splurge for the pavilion seating. Otherwise, lawn, there's a lot of lawn diehards that rain or shine, they know how to dress. They even bring out the rain pants <laughs> for this. But uh, it should just be great. I'm going to be going to Little Listeners at the library this afternoon. So they do a program with the kids at the four different public libraries. And they bring in the instruments and the kids get to see that up and close. So it's kind of a neat way to introduce the youngsters to this type of music as well. Absolutely. Yes, I remember growing up and I had a friend that uh, kind of won this opportunity to conduct the entire orchestra. So oh, wow. they definitely have unique ways on bringing the youth in, which is important. You got to keep the music alive. And uh, it's, it's just so cool to be, you know, at the amphitheater listening to this music. I would say it's one of the most peaceful things you can go and attend. Yeah, it's just you can bring a little picnic if you're on the lawn or if you're up close and personal, you're just you're seeing these incredible musicians and it's it gives you time to think and imagine. I mean, it's it's really a, a gorgeous event. Yeah, it's, a, it's an experience. It fully is. So even mm -hmm. if you don't know much about the composers or much about classical music, does not matter if you like to listen to beautiful things and see great yeah. views because that venue, I love when maybe there's a rainbow or you see the alpine glow on the gore and just the birds flying around. It's so green and they've got it all landscaped behind the stage. So you just see all the flora and the foliage and everything going on. So, okay, lots of things. All right, Meredith, we better get rolling because we've got 
got a lot to talk about on today's show. When we come back, yes. we'll talk headlines, we'll talk roads, and we'll give you some details on a few other things that are going on throughout the Bill Valley. Snoop, what are we doing today? Just living the fine life, babe. Okay, cool. Gonna block off my calendar. Let me hold that real quick. The best plans are no plans. I needed to upgrade my phone anyway. We love our new apartment. Plenty of parking, big closet. There's too much pressure in the bathroom. Hey, good luck with the future in-laws tonight. Don't overthink it. But don't underthink it. Don't talk about your cover band. Don't talk about your fantasy team. Don't talk about your cats. You're going to do great. At least Geico makes bundling our renters and car insurance easy. We do save a lot of money. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Where are you going for dinner? 1987? For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. you know what made headlines for today thursday july 17th in today's veil daily and on the cover you can see some scenes from the stars variety show the veil mountain cirque flies high during the veil valley foundation's youth power 365 stars variety show on tuesday in veil it has been considered one of the largest fundraising events in the valley for more than 10 years now you can check it out we've got fun pictures on page a2 as well also in today's paper, Avon's next big project, the long-awaited hotel coming to I-70 exit near East Avon, is the next in a series of developments in the Trier Creek area. So this is pretty interesting. We've got a new Marriott that'll be coming. This will be on the north side of the interstate. So uh, check that story out on page A3. And then also, a night for the stars. We've got a bunch of photos from Tuesday night's event, raising money for the youth of our valley. The Youth Power 365 basically helps kids from cradle to career with lots of different programs that are funded by this big night out. Also in today's paper, um, I'm continuing our series celebrating Title IX, a look back at the local timeline of Title IX from 1892 to 1969. So check out that in the sports section. And in arts and entertainment, we have a new arts and entertainment section that'll be starting on Thursdays. So summer outdoor markets abound. We have ones uh, oh, pretty much every day of the weekend, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays now, whether it's an Eagle, Mintern, Edwards, and Vale, you can learn about these markets and what they have. Usually it's a lot more than produce in today's paper. And then also we've got some entertainment to talk about. Catching up with Maren Morris before her Veil performance. She'll be coming to the AMP on August 16th. We also have comedy this evening. So we have questions with comedians. Ben Roy headlines the show today. This will be at Bridge Street Bar tonight at 7 p.m. So if you want to learn more about this, check out 
page before, and veilcomedyshow.com will give you some more details on the comedian that will be performing tonight. So grab your paper. All these stories can be found in today's paper, or you can always go online to veildaily.com and get these stories and more. You can sign up for newsletters for entertainment, sports, and breaking news alerts occur on the website as well. So Veil Daily, bringing communities together. Now, if you're going to be traveling to some of our other communities, whether it's Glenwood or whether it's going over Vail Pass, maybe to the outlets at Silverthorne, you're going to want to know what's going on with the roads. Now, we do have some construction projects happening, and pretty much summer is just a busy, busy time for construction projects. So some lane closures on east and westbound Vail Pass is what you'll find, some shoulder closures as well. And then over in Summit County, same type of thing going up to the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels. And we do have a project, US 6 westbound road closed due to road maintenance operations. This is over Loveland Pass. So what usually happens is all those hazmat vehicles that would typically go up over Loveland Pass aren't able to do so. So what they do is at the tunnel, the Eisenhower Johnson tunnels, they will close those for about uh, 20 minutes or so at the top of the hour, let those vehicles go through and then open it back up again to the public. So just something to be aware about. And then down in Glenwood, with our chances of rain today, we sometimes find ourselves in a flood watch or a flood warning. When we go to the flood warning level as a precautionary measure, they actually close down the interstate due to the Grizzly Creek fire, the burn scars from that. So if you're going that direction, just be aware that there could be some closures throughout Glenwood Canyon. So that's the quick update on the roads. But uh, if you want to find out more, cotrip.org is the website. You can also get it on your phone as well. So, okay, well, a few more things that are happening tonight. Move and Groove up at Beaver Creek. They're going to be bringing out, I believe it's the Vale Valley Band playing this evening. And uh, that's going to be right on the plaza level of Beaver Creek, where the ice rink is in the winter. They change that into a nice little backyard area for the summer. But uh, if you want to spend a little more time here in the Vale Valley, Let's check in with real estate info. We've got a hot, hot market, and we have Meredith checking in with Heidi Vents about a new piece of land and a home that you can call your own. That's right. There is a new home on the market after a long time of a woman living in it. Again, this is Heidi Vince joining us at the base of Beaver Creek. It's a gorgeous morning today. It's lovely. It? It's crisp and mm -hmm. refreshing. So if, if, once you're done watching this, get outside because it's bad. <laughs> yes, exactly. So Heidi, tell us about this new property. This is a new listing in Lake Creek. And Lake Creek is a special little valley just outside of Edwards. And what one of the things that makes it special is there's no commercial. There's not a golf course or a restaurant or anything. It's just people's homes mm -hmm. anywhere from, you know, half an acre or duplex to 2,000 acres. This is just under an acre. It's a home that was built in 1973. The family has lived there since 1950. They lived in a camper for a while. Mm -hmm. And this is um, easy to get in and out of everywhere. Yeah, it's right on that main it's road. It's flat. It's got all the utilities. And it's got views in every direction, even the backyard. That's the side of the mountain is really pretty. So the nice thing about this is it's not in an HOA. Mm -hmm. So you just have Eagle County rules, and you can have horses and animals, and a garden and your own little um, ranch, or you could just build a beautiful home or redevelop this home. And let me know if you want to see it. It's fabulous. I am doing an open house Saturday from awesome. 10 to 12, so okay. it's easy to step by. It looks Lots better when you walk around. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing what an acre can be. And it's got views of the New York mountain range yes. in Lake Creek. In Lake Creek, everybody that lives in Lake Creek loves Lake Creek. And it's just a wonderful little corner of this valley that's quiet. You don't hear anything about the river and see lots of stars. Mm -hmm. And you really feel like you're, I want to say in the woods, but more rural yet it's a mile and a half from Edwards. Definitely. You know, I have always loved this neighborhood. I had a few friends live there and you're right. It's so it's so much quieter out there and it you know, you can see the horses and it feels 
different than Vale and Beaver Creek. Yes. But you're still driving like 15 you minutes. You can be in Beaver Creek in 15 minutes. Exactly. Vale and maybe 20, 25. You go to Eagle. So you're in the middle of everything. Yes. And um, it's just fabulous. So this house is great. I mm -hmm. do have a, a lot listed in Red Sky Ranch. Okay. That's a large lot that you could build up to 40,000 square feet. So if you want to be on a golf course and have um, a very large home or build a smaller home, but if you want the golf course community, Red Sky Ranch is also very nice and views of um, Game Creek Bowl. Mm -hmm. And then I've got an incredible listing in just south of Yampa. Mm -hmm. And it's called DomePeakRanch.com, D-O-M-E, PeakRanch.com. And that is in a private community, ranch community, but it's just a little slice of heaven and you're bordering the national forest. Mm -hmm. So there are a few cows that, that are neighbors that roam around, but other than that, it's a beautiful home uh, in the woods. Yeah. So that one is amazing. And and I also have a timeshare here in Beaver Creek. So if you just what do you not that have, week, Heidi? <laughs> that week in the middle of April in Beaver Creek, that's easy also. That's fantastic. Well, you got a lot of unique listings how do people get in contact with you? I know you love taking people on hikes and just chatting real I estate. I love living the mountain lifestyle and yes. skiing and hiking and horseback riding. Um, best way is my telephone. 970-390-8383. I'm around. I'm here. Um, and I just bounce around the valley. So 970-390-8383. Okay. Yes, Tricia. All right, Heidi. I, you know what? I, I know you know that property very well. You were actually yes. one of the neighboring ranches, right? You, you've lived I lived across the street for 18 years. So mm -hmm. I looked at this house out of my living room window, and I just love Lake Creek. It is That's my favorite place to live. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and we all, a lot of we all move for a reason, but this is, uh, there's not a lot left in Lake Creek to build on because the ranch behind it and the side of it, there's a hay field as part of a 2,000 acre ranch. So, and you know, you don't, and the one neighbor built a lovely barn and some people have built berms along the road just to give yourself more privacy, which I happen to do also. But it's just, it's one of a kind in the valley. So if you haven't been to Lake Creek, let me show you around. If you have She's been to Lake Creek, to so. let me also show you around this property. So you can yeah. see it anytime by calling me or stop by my open house on Saturday morning. And I'm also doing an open house at the Red Sky Ranch property tomorrow morning, Friday morning, from 9 to 11. So if you are interested in the golf course property, um, just go to the main gate and they'll guide you. Um, where it is and that's a flat buildable lot also so okay. if that appeals to you more either I, one I mean that that just slice of land you know I mean I know the house is older but um wow just imagine the house you could build on it can be property. fixed up or torn down either one whatever works for you we call it redevelopment Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Heidi, thanks so much for stopping in. And you can Thank you. Heidi Vince with Live Sotheby's International Realty Open House tomorrow at Red Sky. Open House on Saturday at that property in Lake Creek. So a lot of cool things. And, you know, the real estate market has been so hot these last couple of years just to even have that slice of land to buy, especially the one right in Lake Creek that is ready to go flat. You can build you can put the horses on there, everything. Gonna be super cool. Okay, we have more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be back after this. Maui Jim sunglasses were born on the beaches of Hawaii, designed to respond to the bright sun and harsh glare of the islands, all while enhancing the view. After 30 years, we're still independently owned, and the free thinking Hawaiian spirit that first inspired us is still a part of everything we do. Our polarized plus two lenses not only protect eyes from harmful rays, they also make colors more vivid and contrast crisper. Try on a pair and see for yourself. The view is better from here. When it comes to footwear, I like a little extra support, so I wear Skechers ArchFit. The Arch Shape insole has podiatrist certified arch support, plus they look great and they're machine washable. Kick it in Skechers ArchFit. This summer, enjoy the joy of America's gift to music, jazz, and its many subgenres at the 28th Annual Vail Jazz Festival. Headliner concerts are Thursday evenings at Lion's Head, and free concerts are Sunday evenings at the Solaris Plaza. For more information, go to vailjazz.org. <laughs>
Xterra, apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit XterraPlanet.com today. Enter the promo code CHECK20 at checkout for an extra 20% off regularly priced merchandise. your Vale Valley broker professionals today to help you live the life you love. All right, we are back. I want to let you know what's going on with the weather. Nice, cool, and crisp this morning. We're in the 50s throughout the Vail Valley, whether you're down in Eagle or up here in Vail. We can see a little bit of cloud cover, so not quite those crystal clear blue skies we typically see in the morning, but still, it's pretty gorgeous out there. Feels like 52, and it is 52. Our high today will be right around 80 degrees, upper 70s, low 80s, depending on where you're at elevation wise. But we are going to see, well, there is possibilities of rain. You never know. It kind of can be scattered to nature, scattered thunder showers and rain showers. And it looks like, according to the National Weather Service, at around 12 noon, that percentage ups to about 60%. By 3 p.m., it's up to about 70%. But by 6, then it drops down to oh about 40 percent or so and then we'll see it taper off about 50 percent chance of some thunder showers overnight and then tomorrow we'll see a clear morning and then a chance of those showers in the afternoon and then i think by the time we get to sunday things will dry out quite a bit so uh, just that chance of showers you know yesterday we were over at nottingham park uh, playing some volleyball we had the grill going it was kind of a fun little office party and that cloud cover came through the sand was so hot at the sand volleyball courts it's kind of nice to have that a cloud cover come through i call it nature's air conditioning it didn't rain on us in the afternoon but there was some rain in edwards overnight i was on my computer at about 9 p.m i could hear that outside so we could get some of those rain showers but it's just a nice way to cool things down naturally cool things down so that's a quick look at your weather and then also we want to talk a little bit about what's going on at beaver creek uh, of course we've got the lifts we've got the gondola open for you it's the chairlift gondola combination centennial lift number six they open at 9 30 and then we also have the ticket office open for you at nine and then when you go up there there's plenty of lawn games and you can enjoy Enjoy the grill at Spruce Saddle, get a bite to eat. They have special lift and lunch packages. So if you know you're going to go up and have lunch, you might as well get that packaged up deal. You can hike down from there. You can hike up to there and then take the gondola back down. What I like to do is go up Overlook Trail and then take the gondola down. You can also make your way to Beaver Lake. Now, Beaver Lake is not near the top of the gondola, but if you go to Beaver Lake and then hop on the Royal Elk Trail, that will bring you back to the gondola and it's kind of a nice loop and then at that point you could take the gondola down if you'd like so lots of different ways to spend time up at beaver creek now right at the base they have a lot of activities so don't even know need to go up to enjoy some of the things happening at the base we have the bungee trampoline we have the gold panning which is really fun for kids to think they're panning for gold and the putt putt golf the mini golf right there a lot of fun and adults say hey, you can even work on your short game just by playing a little bit of that mini golf and then the live music continues tonight from seven to nine we've got move and groove and it'll be the Vale valley band this comes with dance instruction also so they bring in a couple of the professional dance instructors throughout the valley and they are going to be doing uh, just a few little moves that they can tell you about so it's always fun to think about that also today helmet fricker will be performing he'll be doing the yodeling he'll be doing that big alpen horn and we've also got the accordion fossil posse dinosaur adventures begins and that'll be this afternoon that's going to let you know about the prehistoric history right here in eagle county and then we've got something fun happening called zuzamen and that is a kind of a german word for gathering and meeting and dining and they just kind of turn that plaza level into the center point of this they'll have food and drinks from beaver creek restaurants out there for you to enjoy and they're gonna have live music on the stage from 
four thirty to seven thirty. It's going to be Spinfony this week, so it should be a lot of fun. So Zizamen, just a cool thing that happens periodically throughout the summertime. But another thing you can do, you can check out the art galleries, especially if it rains. That's a good thing to do if we do see those afternoon showers. And we've got a lot of um, great, great galleries right here in Beaver Creek. So let's learn more about one of those galleries. Here in Beaver Creek, there's an area that few people call the Gallery Promenade, and there you'll find the C. Anthony Gallery. They leave the lights on for you. And to tell you more, Eric. Good to so, see you, Todd. the Gallery Promenade, you came up with that name. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's a good way to describe what we are here because we are not just one little gallery. We're actually the entire hallway. And in this hallway, it is C. Anthony Gallery featuring many artists, some showcase one of many names, Britain. Britain is a artist that, uh, you know, finds her home here uh, in uh, our valley. Um, she works uh, in a really, truly authentic, creative sense. Um, so this painting that's behind us is uh, one of her, I'd say, masterpieces from the last year. And so Britain works in a way that comes organically, but also from a sense of uh, her environment. Uh, the way that she works, uh, she allows the art to just kind of produce itself on the canvas. Very unique. Uh, and what you end up with is these very ethereal, kind of dreamlike uh, pieces that are mixed media but have a sense of really, you know, luscious oil painting. And she has an upcoming showcase, and that's happening in July. That's right. You know, we have a show for every year, the 4th of July weekend. Uh, and it's a great time to come view her work because she creates these pieces that are organic leading up to this. So if you want to see her new work and her best work, the 4th of July weekend is the best time to see it. Speaking of C, C. Anthony Gallery, let's explore. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually want to show you all something really incredible. This place is huge. It is. It's actually the largest gallery in the state. So as we come through here, each room's kind of its own universe, and you'll see a lot of different varieties of work, but I also want to take you across the hallway here to tell you about something really exciting that's coming up. So we have a group show the first weekend of August, and so some of the artists in this room are featured in that show. We have Timothy Lawton here. He's a glass artist from Chicago, um, and he's a third-generation artist. So he'll be here Britain is part of this group show as well. This is Hamilton Aguiar. He does these kind of interesting optical pieces. And then to top it off, we also have James Jensen. James Jensen's another mixed media artist that creates art that's kind of an exploration of the chaotic nature of paint. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of amazing things to see here. You can stop by and check out the sculpture, check out the photography, some mixed media like you're seeing, um, some featured artists of many, That's right. and do some shopping while you're at it. That's Absolutely. also possible. You know, one thing that we love is that people can come here and make a connection with a piece of work that they see, and that connection is something they can take home with them. Uh, it's something that will always remind you of this place. Uh, and even if you live here or you don't, it doesn't matter. There's something here that will speak to you. I mean, this is just a tiny percent of the variety of what we have to, to show here. In all a these talented huge people. gallery, C. Anthony Gallery in Beaver Creek, there's plenty to see here. Again, help everyone find it. That's right. We're, so the ice skating rink is right there. You just come right on back. This entire hallway is yours to explore. Thank you, Eric. All right. Thank you, Ty. C. Anthony Gallery in Beaver Creek. That is so cool. I had no idea that C. Anthony Gallery was the largest gallery in the state. Both Leah and I, Leah's running the controls and the producer booth, were like, what? Largest gallery in the state? So check that out. It really is just right off the plaza level, the ice rink. There's also um, two, Tony Newland Gallery, the Horton Fine Art Gallery, lots of galleries in Beaver Creek that you can visit. And like Eric said, stop in. A lot of this art will just speak to you. And it's really a neat kind of phenomenon about what people are attracted to what attracts their eye and how it's different from one person to the next. So those galleries available for you, lots of great galleries in Vail Village, in Edwards, 
as well. And then our farmer's markets have really become farmer's markets and art shows. Tomorrow we've got the Eagle Market down at the Eagle Town Park. It goes from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. They're bringing out all the produce, of course, but they're also bringing in some artisans, some craftspeople. So it's just a really neat place to look for unique gifts or just something you might need for the home. Maybe a hostess gift if you're staying with someone here in the valley and you want to just treat them for all their hospitality so it's kind of neat for you to do that so if it does rain this afternoon that's a good thing to check out are the galleries and do a little shopping now also stop by the grand hyatt Vale. they have this really cool top golf swing suites so top golf of course you know great place to go if you're going to play golf and everything but they've got the swing suites which are smaller versions of this but they still have all the fun and we're bringing out the food the drinks these are in two different meeting room spaces so they're right here for you you can watch uh, big games we were just if you want to watch the British Open play a little golf before hey do it so and uh, they've got more than just golf they've got the zombie dodgeball they've got the football the hockey lots of different things for you to enjoy so if we do get some rain in the afternoon just call up the Grand Hyatt Vale and ask about their top golf swing suites they have two of them like I mentioned the back nine and the front nine so it's kind of a nice little play on on the golf game okay let's bring it out to beaver creek meredith is standing by we have a yoga mondays wednesdays and fridays and so she's going to learn a little bit more from tara that's right we're bringing it down to the floor on mount plaza this morning and joining me we have tara vandernew and we were just saying about a year ago we were doing this last summer so it's exciting to be back and talking about this free yoga that happens in beaver creek yeah, it's great. I'm, I'm really grateful and excited to be part of it for the first, third third summer, I think. Third summer. But I've been part of it. I don't know if this is, I don't know how many years they've been doing it. So it happens Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What time? It's nine o'clock. Okay. Right here on right the Right here. Street. And how many people have been coming? It's between 20 and 30. One morning we had 38. Um, That's fantastic. Yeah, it gets a little bigger. We get a few more people every day. I love a big field of, of yogis. I mean, there's, there's so much energy when you have a lot of people practicing together. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do a little, little something, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We thought we'd do some stretches that allow you to watch TV or so that you're not thinking about that maybe it doesn't feel so great in the beginning. Um, and it's a nice distraction. Exactly. Nice. And specifically since most of us sit a lot or are very active, especially when uh, visiting Beaver Creek. Um, hamstrings, quads, and hips tend to get yes. pretty tight. So um, some hip stretching, quad stretching, you can do when you're sitting. One is called cow face pose, where you stack. Yes. Back, so back. you guys can see. So your knees are stacked over one another and your feet so yeah you got them like this and then down on your mat and then you might pull your feet in if you'd like a different sensation more sensation less kind of it's really nice on the hips actually yeah yeah, yeah. so then and if you want to intensify it like <laughs> Early in the morning, you can tell I haven't stretched yep. yet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so ideally, you want to hold this for at least um, 30 seconds and really like three to five minutes, which is why TV comes in handy. Yes. It's something to keep you uh, distracted. And then you'd want to switch sides. Right. And keep breathing. The, the breathing's important with it, right? Excuse me. Absolutely. Thank you for, for reminding me to say that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and woo, breathing from your belly as opposed to the near, or, um, sure, shallow yeah. chest breath. So really breathing deeply. Woo, we can always get the reminder to breathe deeply. <laughs> and while we're in this position, sitting in this one, you could do a shoulder stretch where you open and grab your hand, fingers at the back or not. They might not reach, or you could grab a belt, um, or a yoga strap, but 
a belt from your robe or just any any belt, even a towel. If you're in a hotel, grab a towel and maybe you've got you're holding on to it from the maybe you've got the top and the bottom. And that allows you to open your shoulders a little bit more. Yeah, and it's a nice stretch right here on the um, the triceps you call it. Which would be a lot in yoga, you know, with all the chaturangas. So that's a nice, that's a nice one. Yeah. All right, let's do one more. Yeah. Okay. So something else, um, hamstrings, obviously, and when we're on vacation or anytime, we may um, indulge a little bit too much. In, it happens. In we like some, to have a good time. In something. Who knows? <laughs> um, so twists are really great for detoxifying because they kind of bring out our organs and help them flush out what needs to go. All right, let's do it. Let's twist so we're going to do a twist to the side, and I'm going to stagger a little bit. For, yeah, so, you do it, and I'll make sure right. the viewers can see. So a couple options. You could start just like this. You want to press your shoulders down into your mat. Send your gaze over opposite of where your legs are. Then if you want to intensify a little bit more, you could straighten your lower leg and your top leg, and then slowly, gradually, take your uh, top foot up towards your hands, moving it up a little bit more, and whew, I'm done. That is nice. Right along here. Twist out those toxins. Exactly. I love it. <laughs> and then, of course, you'd want to switch sides because you want to be symmetrical. Absolutely. So this is just so great that Beaver Creek offers free yoga three times a week in the morning, and they can give you mats. Right? You don't have to bring your own. Correct. You don't okay. have to bring your own. Um, it does get pretty warm by mm -hmm. towards the end of class, so I would recommend wearing light colored clothing. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what, what we're wearing. Yeah, um, lightweight things. I I always have a long sleeve shirt on just because mm -hmm. I don't want so much sun. Yeah. Um, and it seems to keep me a little bit cooler, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and at the end, when we have Shavasana, final resting pose, we are laying on our mats for a couple minutes, so it's nice to have something light to just put over your face because it does get a little warm. Yes. Up here in the mountains, we start cool and then, <laughs> then it gets warm pretty fast with that sun. So layers, sunscreen, and water, but who doesn't love free yoga in the morning? Yes. In the heart of Beaver Creek. Look at these views, people. This yoga and soak in these views. It's really, it is really beautiful, and the hummingbirds, we hear them fly by, and uh, it's real good in the mountains, it's a pretty special thing. I love it. Alright, hey, we're trying it in the studio, you guys. Both Leah and I are like, getting our cat, uh, getting the cow face here, and yeah, I can feel it, I can feel it. And it is good to have something like the TV to help you um, keep your mind off of this. And, and Tara, there's, there's so much that we do, you know, the hiking and there's using different muscle groups and it's nice to not forget about stretching out for this. So, is this for all ages? Can your kids come too if they know about yoga? Yes, I'm glad you said that. We've had a number of kids join us and we even have a dog who comes um, and sits over on the side. <laughs> That's fantastic. He demonstrates the downward dog, I'm sure. It's perfect. Exactly. Right? Okay. okay, perfect. Well, this is such a nice amenity. Free yoga, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's such a treat for, you know, any guests that are here. I even know of a guest that comes to Vail, and he'll drive over there for it, you know? So it's it can really draw people in from all over. Oh yes, just a quick drive up the mountain and then you're here. <laughs> yeah. Free parking all Free parking, summer. Park in, the, park in the Ford Hall parking and you can just come up the stairs and ride out down to the ice rink.
Okay, all right, everybody. This is, during the commercial break, I want you to do the cow's face, and then and then we'll let you release it after that. But hey, we are gonna take. Are we, are we gonna go to the hiking thing? Okay, right now we want to think about. Hey, you do your hike, and then you do those yoga stretches before or after. Madison is gonna take us out on the trail. <music> This is Madison, your behind the scenes girl. Um, I am gonna take you guys on a hike of the week and we're gonna start right here at Gondola One, right in Vail Village. Um, it's called Strawberry Lane. It's only about 2.7 miles, only about 700 feet of elevation gain. So it should be a pretty quick, pretty easy little hike that you can absolutely do with your friends and family when they come to visit you. All right, let's get hiking. This is always so crazy to me. We're literally on the ski runs right now. So just because there's no snow does not mean that the season is over. It is hiking season. It is biking season. It is get outside season. So seriously, go get your feet dirty. This is awesome. All right, we are only about a half mile in. And guys, let me tell you, there is some serious incline. So if you are visiting, and you're, or if you're new to hiking, welcome, happy to have you here. A few things to keep in mind when you're hiking on vacation or somewhere at high altitude, it does get harder to breathe. So just make sure that you are listening to your body and making sure that you are going at a pace that's comfortable for you. The last thing that you want is to overexhaust yourself and not be safe while you're out here. Something that is also very, very real out here or bears. They are out and they are excited to be around. So fun fact, right, as we're talking about animal safety on trails, I am hiking up in front of my new friend here. Say hi. <laughs> and I hear a noise thinking it's a mountain biker because there's lots of mountain bikers up here and we gotta share the trails. And there is a big old moose about 15 feet in front of me. And it is just staring at me. But as my new friend also knows, make it very clear that you are not a threat. And so you slowly start to walk away and let it move on. So we let it pass and we waited a little bit and we're out here trying it again. All right. All right. I am up here at the end of uh, Strawberry Lane. Well, I'm taking a little break here. Thought that we could talk a little more about some mountain safety stuff. As I said, we did see a moose. This is their home. We are visitors in their home. And as much as this is our backyard, this is their place. So we wanna be really respectful and really cautious. Um, things to keep on you at all times are um, a can of bear spray is a big one. And then also, if you're hiking alone, a really good thing to have with you is something that makes noise. Those are just some a couple things that you can do to really be careful out here, especially if you're new to the area. I know it's exciting. Don't run up and touch the animals. Don't talk to them. Let them do their thing. Let them be. All right, so I am up here at the end of Strawberry Lane where it turns into berry picker. So. You can also take Berry Picker down here to Lion's Head, or you can go back to Vail Village the same way that you came. Um, so far we have made some new friends, we have seen some animals, and we've seen quite a few mountain bikers. Something else I wanted to mention about hiking around up here is we really wanna leave the trail better than we found it. And if you see trash, go ahead and pick it up. I always have a bag in my backpack to grab things on the way out. Another safety thing that I wanna talk about is just to remind you all, always let someone know where you are. As a solo hiker, and especially as a female solo hiker, I always text somebody and tell them where I'm going. All right, we just finished up. That was about 2.7 miles. Um, took a little over an hour. Um, but now let's head into the village and grab a drink real quick. And now it's the best part of the hike, the apre. Apre is all season long, guys. It is not just ski season. So I'm about to head into one of my favorite spots, Big Bear Cafe, and grab a little drink and a little snack, and then head home. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.
experience the extraordinary at Beaver Creek. Visit Grand Junction. In the future, we'll travel to incredible places with the help of magical technology. But what about today? I can't Ooh. wait for what tomorrow will bring. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the ride. To find a cure for osteoarthritis, why not look to the body's own power to heal? At the Stedman Clinic and Stedman Philippon Research Institute, we're working with the National Institutes of Health to conduct a clinical trial treating osteoarthritis of the knee. To learn how you can participate in this clinical trial, call or visit our website today. The Stedman Clinic and Stedman Philippon Research Institute. The future of orthopedic medicine is here. Almost ready to wrap up the show. Before we do, let's bring Meredith back in, and we're going to talk about a giveaway that we gave out yesterday. We're going to announce the winner right now. So, drum roll, please. Let's bring in Meredith. Hey, Meredith. So, we were giving away that community support supported agriculture CSA box from Nap Harvest. We've got a winner, so we want to congratulate Colty. K. You've won the Nap Harvest. Yes. Ah, oh, the box of veggies, the recipe everything so thank you nap harvest for doing this fun giveaway with us and stay tuned for other giveaways that we can have going but colty.k was the winner of this so just oh imagine you're gonna have a good weekend colty.k with everything that you can make out of there but um are you feeling more loosened up and and relaxed and ready for your day after that little yoga session honestly I am. I am. I, you know, this, the small things in life, just a little stretching and you just forget sometimes, but it's just so nice to do that. And, you know, I've been recovering from a ACL tear, so I've been a little easy. I haven't really been doing yoga, but I was able to talk to tear and talk about some modifications I can do. But yeah, I mean, who doesn't love to start their morning in Beaver Creek doing yoga? I know, I know. It's hard to live. Hey, and you know what? You can end your day in Beaver Creek. We've got Move and Groove again once again tonight, mm. 7 to 9, with the live music with the Vale Valley Band, a great local band, a little dance instruction. But in addition to that, Meredith, Showdown Town. We've got Ryan Dart playing tonight. This is a free show at 630. Everyone comes to Eagle Town Park for this. And you don't have to live down valley to do this. I know a lot of people mm. that live up valley, and they will make the trek down down there and, and see their friends that live down there and really just enjoy this evening of free entertainment. Yes, exactly. And this is done by the Vail Valley Foundation. And so, you know, for Up Valley, they do the hot summer nights on Tuesdays, but the Eagle folks need some free concert music too. So that's exciting. Thursday, every Thursday. Okay, and then also every Thursday we have Veil Jazz at Veil Square. So this is a ticket mm -hmm. event. They bring in some big names for this. Tonight the theme is Mardi Gras in July. So John Clary, he's British born, but he lives in New Orleans and he is going to be leading the show tonight with that Crescent City sound. So it should be a lot of fun. This will be kicking off. Um, doors open at 5, shows at 6. And the rain or shine because they They've got that nice jazz tent that is there all summer long so they can host this no matter what the weather decides to do this afternoon. Exactly. And I've even gone to a few of those restaurants or ice creams and you, you can hear it just walking by too. So if you don't have a ticket, that's one way to kind of enjoy it too. But then they do events also at Solaris on Sundays for free. Um, and that's, you know, it's just, it's always nice to show up to Vail Jazz because we don't get that jazz music all the time here and they bring in the renowned artists for it. So, uh, it's, it's a really cool opportunity. Yeah, no, we love it. So we love having that here. And, um, yes, thank you everyone who is watching this morning. And, uh, mm -hmm. we want to remind you, you can always ask us questions on our Facebook page. 
you can always chime in from where you're watching from. You know, we have so many people that are coming to the Valley and just want to know what's going on. And, and that's what we're here for. We really want to let you know what's happening on a daily basis, what's happening on a monthly basis. Uh, we've got the Eagle County Fair and Rodeo coming up in just a few weeks. The Vail Dance Festival coming up in a few weeks as well. And uh, what do you know about that? I know you know quite a bit about the dance festival. Yeah, well, it's some of the best dancers in the world that come here, and they always are so excited. It's almost like summer camp for these dancers who return every year because they get to live like we do here in Vail every day. And it's that's not always the case for them in the, in the big cities like New York and um, out in California. You know, they're dancers from all over, and we actually have Dance Aspen coming in. So I've never seen them, so another little mountain town we'll see we'll see how the dance aspen shows up but um yeah I, I worked with them for for a while so i'm so excited to see those friendly faces and i always will suggest you know if you go to any of the performances the international evenings is always a good one because you're going to have a mixed bag of repertoire whether it's ballet jazz tap you name it. It's going to be a big variety and some pieces that are really recognizable like Swan Lake and, and some that are brand new works. And that's also the great thing about the festival. They commission new works every year and they have a whole show to showcase new choreography. So check it out. Veildance.org. It's such an exciting event. That's I think about two weeks away. Oh, Is it two or three? Yeah, well, I think it's two. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Two. Yeah. yeah. July, 29. July 29th. Okay, here we go. Well, yes, we want to thank Tara Vandenut for coming on with the yoga. Heidi Vince as well. We got a few comments during a Heidi Vince's interview with Patrick Maker. He mm -hmm. said, nice interview with Heidi. And then Rodney Travis chimed in. 1842 Lake Creek Road is big money. Yes, yeah, so that was exciting. Mm -hmm. That's that's a well-known property for any of us that, you know, ride their bikes up Lake Creek, run. I used oh, to yeah. jog up. That was my jogging route for a while. And, um... That's that's big news for that property to come up because uh, it's gonna make someone it very is. happy. Yeah, no, she she's been in that house since you know I think the seventies. So you know it's a, it's a big moment for her to leave to leave that property too. But yeah, it's it's right on that main street. Like you, it's very recognizable and, and a big chunk of land. So that's that's exciting for. For the new buyer that gets that property. I know. Okay, well, it's time to wrap it up. So thanks, Meredith, for running around Beaver Creek today. Looks pretty nice out yeah. this morning. But once again, we do Gorgeous. have uh, those chances of showers later on today. So bring the umbrella just in case. It's always good to be prepared. We'll see you tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. It's summer in the mountains. It's summer in the mountains. It's summer in the mountains. And we're out here living it. Living it. Living it. Lots to do, lots to see. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. At 7.30. 7.30. It's Vail Valley Live. It's Vail Valley Live. Watch us now. Watch us now. Watch us now. Watch us now.